Hey guys, Micah here with Electrek, and today we're reviewing the Jetson Quest electric scooter. Let's take it for a ride. At just $499, the Jetson Quest is definitely a great deal. While it may look like many other electric scooters in the budget level e-scooter class, it has some nice features that help set it apart. The attention to detail in the faux leather hand grips and the chrome accents help to accentuate the nice screen and the large readout. The mechanical disc brake is a great addition to motor braking and helps add more braking power when you need it most, unlike motor braking alone. I really like the bright headlight and included taillight, but my favorite lighting feature is the under deck lighting. It may seem silly to some people, but at night it is perfect for drawing attention of drivers and even pedestrians that might otherwise step out in front of you. If you're looking to get noticed, the Jetson Quest will definitely do it for you. The scooter itself feels well built, though it doesn't have the smoothest ride of any scooter. The ride is pretty good, but the airless tires means that there isn't quite as much give when you hit bumps. For smooth surfaces like streets and bike lanes, it rides like a dream, but if you take it on bumpier surfaces, you'll feel it more. Again, not a deal breaker since it isn't terribly noticeable, but the scooter's just not as smooth as if it had airfield tires or full suspension. But you can't get full suspension for under 500 bucks. And if you had air-filled tires, then you'd have to worry about getting flats. So the trade-off does have some benefits. The scooter reaches a top speed of 15 miles per hour and has a range of around 15 to 18 miles, depending how hard you're riding it. That's also on flat ground though, so if you have a hilly commute, expect to get a bit lower range, as is standard for all electric scooters. In my opinion, the Jetson Quest is an excellent commuting machine. It's well-built, looks great, and is easy to use. The folding mechanism is solid, so when you get to your destination, you can easily fold the scooter up and take it inside with you. It'd also be great for taking on the bus or the subway, which often limit carry-on vehicles to folding scooters or bikes. In summary, I wouldn't say the Jetson Quest is the best electric scooter I've ridden, but for the price, it's a home run. It's one of the better scooters I've seen for under 500 bucks, and for many people that don't want to drop a grand on an electric scooter, it will definitely be a good option. I hope you enjoyed that review. Make sure you hit subscribe so you can check all of Electrek's videos, and we'll see you next time.